Well, hello there, guys. Welcome back to some more Decisive Campaigns Barbarossa. We've gotten a lot of really interesting advice about how we're doing right now. Uh, like I said, I am a noob in this game, so uh, to see whether or not I can actually get a victory is going to be quite interesting. Um, now the Soviets are finally getting some serious defenses. Uh, they're not messing around anymore, and I'm going to do everything I can to get up close and personal and try to smash these Soviet lines to get through to Orsha, Smolensk, etc. We should actually be in Kiev by now on this front, but it's taking a little longer than we anticipated. So I think what I'm going to do here, I'm going to try to grab this stack. We're going to move here. I hope that we get some decent attacks here against the enemy. Although, honestly, I'm not sure there's anything we can do to save ourselves. Uh, this area looks pretty weak, so I want to hit those weak zones as much as I can. Let's go ahead and list our forces, and there we go. 58, 64, I want to get up to 200. 261 is a bit much, uh, so I will just do 188, and hopefully we can send these guys reeling. All right, we've still got some Soviets retreating, but somebody mentioned to me that these brown units are the new Soviet army. These are the guys we got to watch out for. Um, and I'm basically just going to hold my Romanian front. I'm not moving anywhere. I'm going to keep on pushing on these fronts, of course, uh, if I'm able to. Let's try to move in here and try to get a major attack on this area. I'm going to try to bring in my Panza as well and just smash that center area where we have like a, a bunch, a really huge amount of Soviet units. I'm not sure uh, who can attack, but let's go ahead and go for it. List some attackers here. Oh my goodness. We're going to send in our SS divisions. We're going to send in a tank division and one of our strongest. Actually, we can get up to 300 with this attack. Let me send in the 57. Okay, come on, guys. Let's break the Soviet back. All right, it's good to see that we're managing to break through. Let's see the textual detail here. 6,800 dead on our side. Uh, well, it looks like 200 infantry dead. Um, this might be total dead. 600 heavy infantry. The enemy, 7,000 dead. Still a ton of deaths on each side. It's good to see that we got the enemy to pull back at least, but we all know that's not the end. We have to keep on going. I'm going to try to wipe out this Panzer Division, uh, this Soviet Panzer Division. And we might not even need to use this many troops. I might be making a mistake doing this, but I want to totally destroy that unit. And damn it, he just retreated. So, a lot more work. Hmm. Yeah, this is where we have some uh, problems, as they say. Yeah? They're definitely in the, in the shit. So I'm going to move here. At least we finally uh, moved our generals into the right area to get some, some reasonable uh, reinforcements for our men. A reasonable resupply, I should say. I'm going to send in these Hungarians. Uh, actually, they could be Romanians. We'll find out after. And let's see if we can send this tank unit back. Beautiful. We also did a nice amount of damage there. Um... Send everything we can against this stronghold right here. And we have a motorized division, an Italian motorized division to help us out a little bit. Maybe we get one more attack. Let's see how it goes, guys. A lot of tanks here. This is a pretty strong Soviet line. I'm going to send every man in for this attack, and I hope it pays off. There we go. We're panicking. We're retreating some of them. Excellent attack there. That was definitely deserving of an Iron Cross for some of the men. What about over here? I don't think we're going to be able to attack. I just don't think we've got enough uh, men to attack. No, we're not going to attack with just one soldier. If we can get in with more, though... Even just want to attack this area, I will do it. So that's what we're going to do, guys. We're going to smash this unit right here. Let's go ahead. We will list up some units here for an attack. And perfect. Three infantry divisions. One of them is not in the best shape, but should be enough to fight a battle with no problem. And the enemy retreats. Once again, going into that large pocket of, uh, of enemy forces. And I'm going to try to send some more units forward. As long as we can hit them, we might as well try... And a Panzer. The Panzer does need fuel, though. Look at that. Look how many enemies there are. Holy crap. Um, let's see what we can do here. I mean, well, they're pretty weak. That's the good news. Their numbers are pretty low. I'm going to try. Uh, maybe we can scare a few of them. Broken. We broke one unit, and we didn't retreat. I think that's a good thing. I, I really don't know. Uh, let's move the Hungarian division forward here to attack this tank unit. I think we can finally just finish this guy off entirely with just our Italian troop. There we go. Viva Italia. The enemy is retreating. And, of course, we want to keep moving forward. So 
I'm going to keep on trying to get all my guys forward here. Not everybody's going to be able to go. Can we hit this area again? I think we've already hit it enough. Yeah, that's about it. And now, let's move up here to this front, guys. Got to get rid of this guy, so I'm going to use that single unit to see if we can uh, make him run. In fact, we use two units here to really destroy him. That should be a break, but I think he's going to retreat back to his lines. Actually, he's retreated into our lines. Of course, he's got no support, so I don't think it's going to last too well or go too well for him. Uh, let's also bring this guy down. This guy down as well. Let's go for an attack on this major Soviet defensive point. We've got to keep trying to break through. Look at how many men we have here. I mean, this is where we've got to use our tanks. We're just using our infantry to break through this initial line. But eventually, if, if and when these guys scatter, looks like we broke one of them. We've got to take those tanks and start pushing through. Let's go again for another attack. We totally want to demolish this area. I'm going to send one tank in, some more infantry. It's already quite a lot. And I wonder what happens when you get up to 500 or 200. Maybe you can only attack an area so many times before it loses the effectiveness and the, of the attack. I think that's what's happening because we didn't get really much of a, a retreat there. Um, let's hit these guys in the north. I'm not going to attack with my HQ. Actually, I'm going to do what you shouldn't, and I'm going to attack with the HQ. But uh, he's well supported by infantry here. And it looks like a retreat, and they're going to definitely go into that zone. Sure enough. Uh, in the meantime, I think we can try and waste that tank with these two infantry units. Actually, there's more than one tank, but let's hope that our boys have had enough combat experience. Nice! Three men. Come on, guys. This should be enough. Attack. Retreat. Very nice. I'm liking it, guys. I'm liking this very much. Of course, we've got a lot of work to do. I'm gonna move these guys forward. And let's see what we can do over here. I think just making little breaks in the line is gonna help. Look at that. Just look at that. All right. Damn! So they're definitely starting to get some strong lines here. We'll try to attack the single units at the very least. As long as we can damage them, we're still not doing too bad. Come on, boys. And there we go. Enemy unit is going to retreat, but I'm sure he's going to retreat into that huge pocket of enemies. Let's move forward here. See if we can do anything to the 150th Rifle Division. No way. Absolutely no way. So at this point... Let's go ahead and attack this area again. If we are able... Maybe this time we'll have more luck. Now this is what I don't get. Two 344 out of 200. Does that mean we shouldn't attack this area? Because we've already attacked it once. But I think we just have to get up to the 300 and we can still do damage. We need someone to answer that question for us. Right now, no, we're not doing a lot of damage. So maybe once you attack an area, it's kind of off limits for a while. Um, and you have to wait till the next turn. Like right here, our stack is huge. We're going to try one more time. We'll take a look at the way the generals see us very soon. Come on, guys. Make me proud. Roll Ozum with your panzers, man! No, once again, so it kind of makes sense. Once you attack, the attack is no longer as effective in that region. It's a little crazy. It's a little bit of a, a tough thing to work with, but we're going to try to make it work. We're still going to take these infantry units, if they can move, get them a little closer to the enemy. And, of course, we still have our forces to the north, uh, some of them being some pretty strong SS forces. So I'm going to take this and some Panzer Division. Four to be exact. Three to be exact, actually. And here we go. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Those are the results we need to get a victory. Let's hit this area here, and I think we can actually take a town. There's a chance, at least. Send in the SS Division. This is the Polizei. SS Polizei Division. And can we get it up to 300? No, we can't. So let's just send in three guys. Nice. Retreat, retreat. Beautiful. And sure enough, Dog of Bills is now ours. So we're going to move into it, defend it with our lives, and possibly get a few more charges here. I'm even going to send my general in there. That's how much I trust in this area. No! He's out of fuel. We're going to have to wait a little bit, guys. In the meantime, let's go ahead and hit this lonely Soviet force. One on one. Are we still good enough to beat them? I don't know. And it looks like our relationships are not great. And 
and this time we retreated. So, as many have said, the Soviets are definitely getting stronger, guys. Uh, did we arrive too late? I'm not sure. I'm going to try to take Bakau here. Uh, I think we've got two units to attack. We also have an SS unit there, but apparently he's not getting any fuel or something's going on. Let's see how we do in Bakau. Man, they are still staying there, and they are very strong. Uh, we'll keep moving forward with this infantry, of course. And even with this infantry... I want to see if we can carry out any attacks against this northernmost part. One, two, three. Come on, give me 300. You can only go up to 219. Fair enough. Hit them, boys. The Soviets are starting to learn their lessons, guys. This is bad news. They're definitely starting to learn their lessons. Uh, I want to see if there's anything we can do here. No, absolutely nothing. Nothing of value, anyway. Uh, what we can do is try to get one of these units, maybe the tank unit, to go that one extra space. And I'm hoping he's cutting off the rail line over here to these other uh, Soviet units. I'm not sure if he actually is. Uh, it's just a guess. Let's move forward. Alright, we're going to hit this guy. He seems to be alone. Come on, men. Show them the power of the Wehrmacht. All right, once again, a nice little retreat there. Not too bad, not too bad at all. we still got that unit of 25 trapped up here, but I don't think he's getting any support. Um, and in the meantime, we've got to try and get this general to Vilnius. And actually, it's we could have just gotten him a little bit closer on the road, starting to realize that. Um, so, for instance, this general can move up right there. This general, he's a little farther from his men, but I think if we move right there, that's going to be sufficient. And, of course, with this infantry unit, we move up right here. Now, we didn't do any decisions last turn because we're trying our best to save our points. Um, so, let's go ahead and see what we can do about that. Let's take a look here at what the refs want. So... Captured trucks? We have captured more Soviet trucks. Good ones. The Gaz Triple A's. The longer this camp train drags on, the greater our need for such durable vehicles. Yet once again, I am confronted by captured material being confiscated by those dumb, cough, greedy theater PG and army HQs. This is not how the system works. So we have 20 political points. Um, we could order the trucks to demand, uh, hand it over, or we could leave half the trucks. Let's leave half the trucks. Um, Wagner is unimpressed, and Von Bock is pleased. Now, he doesn't like us, so that's actually hopefully going to work out in our favor. Uh, the air fleet has the, the option exists to re relocate the main air base, definitely. So, we want to relocate to Warsaw, get a little bit closer. And the Eisansgruppen AGN, it is unprecedented to have detachments such as the Eisansgruppen construction battalions operating at times in advance of the main army in an area best described as insecure. Um, I can't think of any other instance where rear echelon troops were ordered to precede the bulk of the Wehrmacht into recently captured enemy territory. I understand the necessity of rapid rail conversion program, but excessive casualties amongst the Eisansgruppen won't help the cause. Greater protection and a less adventurous approach is required. Um, I am going to continue operating in the unsecured zone. It might piss off the good relationship we have with Gurky, but I think it's definitely useful. Um, study of that a Russian winter will have on our men and equipment. Definitely. This is what the Germans didn't do, and they should have. Uh, so we can only afford a preliminary report. This is the problem, of course. Um, so now we have to hope for the best. We do have a few cards, uh, but I'm pretty sure that you need political points. Uh, and I think in this case it's two to play these cards. I'm pretty sure I could be wrong. For artillery, I am going to go and try and provide some artillery to Army Group Center. And as you can see, we can't play the card. No. So I'm thinking, yes, we definitely need a political points to play these. But maybe we could play, yes, tactical support. Let's play that card. Either in the north or actually right here. So I think I'm going to play the tactical support for Luftwaffe 1. We'll, of course, end the turn now and turn it over no pun intended, to the Soviets. Let's hope they don't have any nasty counterattacks. Here we go, guys. Oh, gods of war, please be nice to me. I want to win. Of course, we didn't do any attacking in the south. I don't really want to. We were having a pretty good advance, but I think at this point, the best thing to do, caution is the best thing. Uh, caution is next to godliness in this particular scenario, fight, whatever you want to call it. Uh, but let's hope for the best, guys. And as always, please keep giving me that great advice. 
I, I think if I had another opportunity to play this campaign, I, I would do much better uh, now that I've learned so much from you guys. So believe me when I say your advice makes a huge, huge difference. Um, and please, if you have any, drop it down below and we will take a look for sure. Here we go. A lot of movement, but no attacks so far. I hope that continues. Of course, they are moving into those gaps, and the defenders stood firm. So it looks like on the southern front with our Romanian troops, we did manage to stand firm. We also have some German troops along those guys. In this case, the attacker was victorious. We definitely can't let that tank division get past our lines and to the rails. Uh, so let's hope that our men stop it before it even gets there. I really hope they have that ability. Come on, Russia, just take the attacks. It's not that big a deal. Once again, on our finish front, we're basically staying put. We could start attacking, but I've just kind of hung out there. And our defenders stood firm once again against another Soviet counterattack. So they're throwing a few at us now. Before, they threw hardly none at us. Now, they're they're starting to throw stuff at us. As, I, as you can see, they were victorious there. They could start cutting off our southern front. Now here, the defenders stood firm. Wonderful job by our defending German soldiers. Defenders stood firm. They're trying to push on that central line, but they're not having a lot of luck, and I hope this greatly damages their army. Um, but only time will tell if that's going to be in effect. Calculations being made. All right, guys. Meeting with Housinger proposed for a radical change in the furlough policy for Africa relief after six months without return. Interesting. So we have uh, several penalties. As you can see, this is why people told me to start reading these. Uh, these theater commanders that aren't happy with us, uh, like with our terrible relationship with von Rundstedt, is going to affect us. And um, this could actually reduce our army's action points, all sorts of stuff. Um, it's tough, guys. It's really tough. We also have to su uh, supply a few air support cards to various armies. There's a lot that we have to do here. Um, this is the Panzer Group in summary. There was a minefield out front from previously. I belt-fed the MG-34 as the Russians marched uh, straight into it. They must have known it was there as there were signs in Russian. Sven said that they were men from a Russian penal battalion. I don't know, but they all died. So yes, the penal battalions were punishment centers, essentially to put criminals, to put um, disloyal soldiers, etc. So we've got a hell of a fight in front of us, guys, and we haven't even moved that far past um, past Warsaw, past Poland. I mean, we're barely into, into uh, Russia, and I don't know if we can win. You guys let me know. I am going to move this tank over here. I have to do at least one attack here. We must do one attack. So let me get some tanks here. A tank, that division, that division, that division. Might seem like a bunch of divisions, but I think we're going to go for it. Nice, nice little retreat before I end the turn here. And of course, don't forget to hit that like button, guys. Support the channel. And actually, we might be able to break through to Rovno with our tanks. It's good to see that we still are on the offensive, but they're definitely sending their strongest troops uh, right down here to the southern front, which is our weakest front. Uh, so these rifle divisions with the brown are much stronger uh, than what we were facing before. Luckily, they're not sending them to these fronts, but they don't really need to. They're managing to hold us off anyway. Uh, anyway, guys, I hope you're enjoying this series. Thank you again. Once again, like, subscribe. If you're new, watch the playlist. It's worth it, guys. It really, really is. Um, I really appreciate it, and have an awesome, awesome day.